computer technology in the America's Cup is, is one of the main factors, especially now in the 35th America's Cup, where it's probably the, we're heading towards the most technologically advanced boats um, ever seen, so in terms of electronics, hydraulics, um, components and so on. Uh, the boats have always been advanced, that's why people uh, find the America's, America's Cup so fascinating because it's the Formula One of racing. And the design component of our setup is a massive factor in that and that's where we've really found HP come along and, and shift us into top gear. HP has helped um, Emirates Team New Zealand in the technology sphere by enabling us with the latest hardware in terms of mobile workstations, towers, mobile devices to be able to facilitate our software needs, our communications between everyone, to be able to produce the best um, results, whether it's um, engineering using SolidWorks, which is about half the design team, so making parts and components custom made, um, whether it's analysis, so for instance using ANSYS, the FEA analysis, yeah just really making sure that what we're producing is, is higher quality and as accurate as it should be. So specifically we're running the ZBook 15 G3s, uh, pretty much right across our design team which is about 30 users and that's been fantastic. They're very high spec, which is great, they're mobile, they're not too weighty, which is the problem we had with the previous vendor. They fit in well with our scenarios and the look of it as well is very professional. So we coupled those with the 27 inch um, narrow bezel screens and the 34 inch curved screens which are amazing. The guys have just been blown away. Some of them are being used for the design packages. Um, so we can run two separate design fields at once. SolidWorks for instance, two different models or SolidWorks and AutoCAD. Um, or just massive spreadsheets, which the guys have found very good. So timelines right across the whole campaign, which in a normal screen is, is very problematic to look at a timeline that, that big. We have been given an X3 to play with. I was going to um, give that to one of the guys to go out in the water with today and hopefully not drop it in <laughs> over the side. Um, yeah, so we've got water resistance on that. It's a, a seven, eight inch screen and yeah, amazing display and full Windows 10 mobile capability. So, you know, could really work out to be worthwhile. On the boat, we're running devices, uh, monitoring again the loads, just through web pages and so on. And quite possibly that would fit in very well with the guys who are out on the water. We're running a couple of um, Z840s as well, pretty high spec, and we've got yeah, very high RAM, 128 gig of RAM. We're running the NVIDIA 5000s in them, so we can um, do modeling through the GPU, which is fantastic. The Turbo PCI E drives are fantastic. The speed of those is significantly faster than the standard SATA SSDs we were using previously. Um, and then we're using another Z840 as a dedicated standalone SQL Server, which is brilliant because if you have 20 terabytes of onboard storage, um, again, maximum RAM 128, dual CPU, multiple cores. So what we're seeing is the number crunching side is just, uh, the speed of that is phenomenal because um, with the boats over the last campaigns, the, the number of data points we're getting off the boats, so sensors all around the boat looking at different aspects, whether it's the loads, on the rudders, for instance, or the dagger boards. We're getting hundreds of data points coming off per second, and then that's all analyzed in terms of the boat speed, the direction, the strains, that kind of thing. And we've got to be able to figure out how, how much higher we can push things before they'll break, which is you know, maximizing performance and boat speed. So anything that we can do to maximize the, the speed of the boat is paramount. Um, recently we've picked up some of the more mobile scenarios for from some of our more mobile staff, so some of the sailors who are away from the office a lot, so they're running the X2 1012 in the folios and they've been really well um, impressed with those devices. The portability of them, the quality, the screen quality, the fact that you can dock them, especially the 1012 into it, you've got the removable keyboard, you're there, you're, you're, they're hooked into a full 27 inch screen so they can watch videos of the day's racing and so on. Pick it up, away you go. It's, a, it's an amazing little package. The 1012 is probably my favorite. And then the Folio is just a, a lovely clamshell design and you know, classic, really well put together. And then you've got the military grade specs on it as well. 
We too from now with um, Emirates Team New Zealand and HP. So we've got the Americas Cup in um, just under a year's time in Bermuda in 2017. And we'd be looking to really keep things going on my side of it, whether it's the hardware or the software at a very high level until then. Um, like I've mentioned before, we've got the ongoing data analysis of each day's sailing, which is huge. The, the, data, the um, storage requirements just keep going up and up. And um, HP undoubtedly will come up with some pretty good resources for us to trial and hopefully get out on the water and, and get us on towards winning the America's Cup. So one sentence of uh, HP and Emirates Team New Zealand, it's been a very uh, harmonious relationship and very productive and um, yeah, I'm very happy that I got them on board and it's, uh, it's onward and upward one might say, plus the fact they're just down the road so it makes very handy for coffee.